just have to persevere because I can't stop. And he'd be like, what the hell? I can just stop. And my fingers, they betray me. It's like, there's only one person inside in my head, I think. But then it's like, all of a sudden, my hands just go all over there. And they like, do their own damn thing. And I'm like, what are you all doing, man? We're doing this. And they're like, oh, we're doing the other thing. And they go here. What the hell is wrong with this? I'm just making excuses. Yeah, I was riding a horse. Uh, not the white horse. Not a different thing I was riding this day, this particular occasion. And, uh, and uh, it's a big, lazy horse. I think I'm the only person in the whole world that was ever thrown off a, a horse by another horse. <laughs> It's on a horse sometimes, and then the horse throw you off the horse. But if a different horse throws you off of the horse you're on, that's pretty unique, I think. Relative to you, unique thing. So, but I was just riding along, minding my own business. Now, they gave me a lazy horse because I didn't want anything that was excitable. You know, just like, I just wanted a little mellow horse to take a little run through the woods. And if I say stop, you know, then the horse will stop. Don't want any uppity horse saying, oh, let's fuck it, let's run that way. <laughs> my friend was telling me that the only time that, 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 that the only thing might get my horse running, they gave me a cart horse, because you know, you don't want to have a wedding night getting a little, little, little carriage or whatever, and then the horse just goes crazy and drag you and your bride and do, you know, the nettles. <laughs> what a pain ass that would be. It'd be good for a video, though. But, uh, so I, they gave me the car horse. I think his name was Doug the car horse. <laughs> good name for a car horse. You know, it was not me. It was not <laughs> Anyway, so I was riding Doug. And my friend said that, that Doug's the only horse that, if, if a bear came through the woods, then all the horses would scatter, except Doug. <laughs> all the horse here, bear, that's worth the shit out of so I was feeling pretty secure in my seating position. And then this other horse came up that was a little uppity with my friend's really hot wife, Margaret up. She's got a great, she's got one of those great horse riding asses. You want to get behind her in line. Just like, That's all, just, you know, purely aesthetic. <laughs> anyway, uh, and then, uh, then her horse just sort of sidled up next to me. Nothing sidles like a horse, I don't think. <laughs> sidled up next to me. <clears throat> and one of the scratches the horse he had on my, on my horse, where my leg was, did a little thing on, uh, and then, but then he had this bit that had little hooks on it. And then his little hook on his little bit stuck into my jeans. And then I guess panic set in. And suddenly the itch turned into he's attached to the other horse now. And he just did this. But see, when I do this, I mean, I got a pretty big head too, but this is all I'm impressive. But when a big when a horse does it, that, that does a whole lot to the situation. So he flung me up in the air, and then I, I was I was out of sorts. But then I then hurt like a bastard right away. Like, yeah! And then and then but then I got my feet out of the stirrups and I landed like Spider-Man. I swear to God, I said <laughs> on the ground next to my horse. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ready to ask kick. <laughs> Take me to Birmingham now. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, I mean, and then, uh, and then I walked around the front of Doug, the car horse, and he was like, what are you doing there? <laughs> he didn't even notice that I left him. <laughs> That's weird, I thought you were on me. <laughs> 
it's all the time. It's all the time. He was like a pot smoking horse. Don't encourage him. He's dragging the morale and the morals of the horse community into the fucking gutter. Thank you.